Hi, my name is Bob Simon, and I'm here to talk about your retirement. Not the money part, but the fun part. A little planning can make this the best time of your life. I've seen many people finally reach retirement only to find loneliness and depression. Having lots of money is not the only thing needed. Most of us won't even have lots of money. I'm here to show you how to have fun without a lot of money. So let's get started. We only have five minutes to cover a lot. Most material that deals with retirement nowadays covers only with the financial needs of your retirement. How much money you need and more often different options on how you can save and grow your savings to get to this amount. Here's an example of a popular index fund. It portrays how money has been doing if it's been in the stock market. What it shows is that many people in the year 2012 will have half as much money as they did in the year 2000. Shares worth $120 in 2000 are now at $60. So as you can see, we need a better plan. One that involves less money and that meets your needs, not the needs of some financial advisor who gets rich investing your money, whether you do or not. Most of us are defined by our job. No job, no identity. Many are lost without our routine, which is usually defined by our job and or family. So step one is to plan our retirement routine. Your current job may end, your kids finally move out, but then what? Your plan doesn't have to be exact. Like anything else in life, it's likely to change. But not having a plan can lead to depression and loss of purpose. Many save millions and finally retire with no plan on how to spend their free time. They quickly get depressed, which could even lead to an early death. So let's try and avoid that, okay? How much money you'll need will depend on what you plan to do. So let's start thinking about what you'll be doing. Many dream of sleeping late, watching TV all day long, and getting together with some close friends. But do you have close friends that will be available? Are they still working? Do you share some common interests with these people if they are available? If you got together only to gripe about work, that won't work anymore. You may get along great with people at work when your common interest is getting the job done, but will you share a new interest with the same compassion? One thing new I found is social groups on the internet. Not dating sites, but groups of people with common interests. Most of us have become comfortable using the internet. And on the internet, there are thousands of clubs, groups, and other activities that you can join in on. Group activities, inexpensive stuff like hiking, biking, kayaking, or if you're less active, there's movie groups, card groups, etc. Just get on the internet, go to google.com and type in what you want. There are hundreds of other options. To name a few, you can go to college or volunteer, which sometimes gets you into a paying job. Remember, we don't have a lot of money and we don't want to turn down handouts. Volunteer at a park. National parks offer free campsites to those who prove they can help out. Most of us enjoy helping out, right? Mentor. Local schools are looking for help. Ski patrol. Get free skiing just by keeping an eye on others, which you might be doing anyway. All these activities help you meet new people, which is always fun for me. If you're not a people person, there's even more available. A general goal like becoming healthier, can incorporate several mini goals. Eating healthy is easy with a little planning. Most of us fall prey to fast food. Why? Because most of us have become impatient and lazy. Well again, just to get you thinking, let me show you a healthy dish for the lazy and impatient. What we do is we get a steaming pan. So we put some water in the bottom of this pan. This pan with the food in it has holes in the bottom which sits on top of here. We put something sort of like a non-stick vegetable here if possible like corn is good, carrots is even better, then broccoli or green beans if you're a little gassy you might avoid broccoli go with green beans. Then a piece of meat not too big and this feeds one or two people. There you have it. Now if I've done my job you have more questions. So you can come to AOKAssociates.com and click on Happy Retirement. You can find more information about your special needs. You can learn more about the general stuff I talked about. Or you can even share your comments with other people.